Hello, I am Dr. Alan Sharma. I belong to Electronics and Electrical Engineering Department, IIT Guwahati. I work in uh, cardiovascular signal processing. Okay, it is one type of the signal processing area. So basically, I work in the ECG, EMG, seismocardiography, gyrocardiography, and the PPG, and other things. I also work in speech technology. So recently, we have created a device. We have invented a device basically which can capture signal non-acoustically and the, without any acoustic signal can we produce a speech if we capture the signal from the this is the our larynx if we capture the signals from the larynx in the three dimensional way x y and z axis okay this signals why it is how it is created if you go slightly inside, we, this larynx is house the glottal fold. This glottal fold, when phonation is there, during the phonation, this glottal folds vibrates, and the muscle cartilage all this moves in three dimensional axis x, y, and the z axis. If we somehow capture the acceleration, in the three dimensional axis and we can process this is the source actually when you speak this is the source now this is the three dimensional signal in form of the signal this is the source from this source now let us replace these articulators okay when we articulate you speak something this is my articulators we speak it involves all the uh, components See, the lips is there tongue is there teeth is there so on the, from the wind pipe when the uh, this ears flows and the vocal fold vibrates it's come to this and it saved the speech what we want to speak now we save the speech and accordingly that what the brain signals come from the brain what we want to speak suppose a we are speaking that is intended for a brain has given the signals and we save it okay now this is my source this is my source from this source we can create this piece now this is the three dimensional source so we have created a device okay we have created a device if we place this sensor in the this larynx like this with the tape so we capture this acceleration signals which is due to the vibration of the vocal fold okay that signals now three signals we take into the processing unit this is my hardware processing unit with this hardware processing unit I have a, a processing uh, some algorithms okay this is hardware so we can design the algorithms also so this is basically hardware which process the signals and create the speech and we get the output the signals we are getting in this way is the not mechanical okay suppose in the electro larynx you can see uh, somebody if they don't have this part and they put some mechanical device here then it converts is the quite mechanical sound but this is what we are creating so this can capture the signals and produce exactly the same speech whatever the person wants to speak so we have tested this technology with the normal human beings and it is almost 99 percent accuracy is there we have compared the signals recording with the microphones with the recording with the microphones we have captured the signals and by our device we have seen that waveform and the signals listening test also was there so it was exactly the same signal whatever we get in the microphones and we have compared so i think this may replace the conventional microphones also in some cases still we have not done it so it can uh, be helpful it may be helpful for some person which is which, who cannot speak properly okay this is what the device thank you thank you all